Pre-written software packages are a kind of application software developed by specialized programmers and software firms with a global presence. They usually address generalized tasks in a specific area of application and are available in a wide range for a wide area of users. You can get pre-written software packages directly from the producers or from retail stores and mail order houses. Pre-written software can further be divided into two types, single function application packages and integrated function application packages. Those that perform a single task such as processing words or designing or data analysis are known as single function application packages. Single function packages can be general purpose such as text manipulation packages which include word processing packages, desktop publishing, data communication packages, or data analysis packages such as spreadsheet packages, graphics packages, and other software. Storage and retrieval packages, which include database packages, project management packages, and memory resident packages, or they can be special purpose, designed for a special class of users, such as human resource management software, electrical contracting software, law office software, medical office software, games and hobby packages. You must have realized by now how interchangeably the two terms software and package are used. In this section, we shall concentrate on the generalized pre-written packages that each one of us uses or may find useful in day-to-day -day computing. Text manipulation packages cover the entire gamut of software that may deal in some form or the other with the following tasks on text-based data. Creating and composing text, editing and formatting text, enhancing and beautifying text, printing and storing text, sending and receiving text. There are four broad categories among text manipulation software. Outlining software, word processors, desktop publishing software, data communication software. An outlining software helps the user to compose and organize text in a hierarchical outline of topics and subtopics. It allows the user to key in raw ideas which, with the help of the software, can be manipulated organized and refined into a proper outlined order. The first process is to key in the text as it comes into one's mind. The next step is to indent those lines of text that should appear as a subtopic of the previous line. Some text lines that may not seem to fit in anywhere at the beginning can be placed separately under a scratch pad heading. Each heading in an outline can have n number of subheadings and likewise, a subheading can also have any number of sub-subheadings and so on. If a heading has subheadings, it is prefixed with the symbol plus. If a heading does not have any lower level entries, it is prefixed with the symbol minus. The outlining software allows the user to add new headings or delete headings from anywhere. It also allows one to shuffle the order of headings as a complete top. For example, if a top-level heading is shifted higher up in the outline, it moves to the new spot with all its subordinate headings down to the last level. The outlining software also allows the user to collapse and expand each level, thereby allowing the user to have a macro view of all the top-level headings. Or a micro view of all, including the lowest level subheadings. Any level of heading can have an associated paragraph of text that may detail the body matter under the heading. Outlining software packages are very useful in creating project reports, new product launch campaigns, program itineraries, etc. Many other text manipulation packages have integrated the outlining software functions within themselves, thereby extending the utility of the package. Another text manipulation package is the word processor. A word processing package is designed to create, view, manipulate, edit, format, transmit, store, retrieve, and print text material. The introduction of word processors 
can be seen as early as 1964 when IBM brought out its Magnetic Tape Selectric Typewriter or MTST. MTST systems were used for storing, retrieving and printing frequently used pre-designed formats and letters. An enhancement to MTSTs were the dedicated word processors in which both hardware and software were dedicated only to the tasks of processing textual data. These systems have display screens and disk storage components and can still be found in use today. Some of the later word processing systems are dedicated standalone text processing stations while others may have multiple workstations sharing resources like printers and other storage devices. The pre-written word processing packages available today are much superior to their predecessors and are compatible across most systems. Some of the commonly used word processing packages are MS Word, WordPerfect, WordStar, Multimate, among others. Any word processing package allows the user to perform a number of text manipulation operations which involve creating text, editing text, formatting text, storing text, printing text. Whether the software interface is function key based or GUI based, the operations discussed herein are more or less repeated in all the products available. Any word processing software has a large central text entry area or workspace in which a blinking cursor indicates at which point text will be entered. The most basic functions of creating, storing and printing are available from the software's main menu. Text entry is done via the keyboard. You can see each character appear on the display as you type. The type text is contained within the area of the workspace by the word wrap function which ensures that when the first line is full, the following text is automatically wrapped around to begin the second line. Once text is entered, the WP software allows one to format and edit it to one's requirement. Page formatting features allow the margins on all four sides to be set. Borders can be outlined and the orientation can be set to landscape or portrait. Paragraph formatting features allow paragraph text to be aligned as left, right or center justified alignment, indented, bulleted, numbered or even set into columns and tables. Line spacing can be set to single, one and a half or double or customized. Paragraphs can be outlined or bordered to highlight them. And users can use the default or forced page breaks to set paragraphs neatly onto a page. Text formatting features allow the characters in the text to be manipulated in terms of different font, size, color and appearance such as italics, boldface, underlined, superscript or subscript, etc. Editing features allow text to be deleted, inserted, moved by the operations of cut copy paste functions, text to be searched and replaced and the latest commands to be undone or redone if one is unsure with the formatting done. While editing, most word processing programs use a combination of keystrokes to speed the movement of the cursor to other locations such as the beginning or end of a line, a paragraph or a page. Some word processing programs show boldface or other specifications on the screen exactly as they will appear in the output document. The acronym WYSIWYG, what you see is what you get, is used to refer to such programs. Other features available in most word processors include language checking tools such as a thesaurus, grammar and spell checker. Style sheets for different predefined formats like memos, letters, reports, etc. Mail merge that allows a standard letter to be sent to a large database by using codes in the letter that are substituted by the names and addresses from a separate database file. Graphics that allow pictures, diagrams, fancy letters to be incorporated with the text. Security that allow you to set passwords for file access to restrict others from reading or modifying your file. After creating, editing and formatting, 
All word processors allow you to save and print the documents with ease. While printing, you can set parameters such as which pages, all, specific pages, odd pages or even pages, how many copies, any number with or without collating the copies, what quality to print in, normal, draft or fine, and scaling to make the text layout smaller. You can save the text file onto a local hard disk or onto a floppy or to any disk in a network environment. Perhaps one of the most commonly used pre-written text manipulation packages in use today is the word processor, to the extent that handwritten communication is passé. The most commonly used ones are MS Word, WordStar, WordPerfect. Word processors allowed very sophisticated text manipulation features but very limited graphic capabilities. If you wish to design written communication with effective pictures, charts, layouts, fonts and typefaces, you should opt for a desktop publishing system. An effective DTP system includes the DTP software and required hardware, a fast system with a high resolution color monitor and high resolution color printer. Typically, DTP software have a general page layout or page makeup program to format the pages. This format allows a combination of text and pictures that one lays out into columns and boxes based on one's creativity. One can also access the DTP software's clipart library to insert appropriate pictures and images to enhance and complement the text. One can scale and crop pictures, align the text to flow around it, move it elsewhere or even merge pictures. One can then rearrange the complete format with changes in style, font, borders, headlines, etc. till it is complete to satisfaction. Finally, the DTP software prepares the output for printing, in which case the output is sent to a connected graphic printing device, usually a laser printer, for multiple copies. Camera-ready prints, in which case the output is then sent to the printing firm to be used on his machine for volume production. Photo typesetting, in which case the machine codes of the layout are sent to a typesetting equipment for bulk printing. DTP software is very useful in the design and printing of manuals, brochures, pamphlets, bulletins, newsletters, even books and journals. A data communication package is a software that allows one to send and receive mainly textual data over communication lines. The data transfer may be between two points or messages may be sent through a network of computers and workstations. The medium of communication is usually over telephone circuits and a special hardware device known as a modem is required. The modem or modulator demodulator converts the digital on-off electrical pulses produced by computers into a form that can be accepted and transmitted by many existing telephone lines and vice versa. So, to use a data communication package for transferring data to the outside world, one's PC must have a modem. Once the necessary hardware is in place, communications packages act as intelligent gatekeepers to speed the flow of data between sites. Typically, this speed is measured in kbps or kilobits per second. The speed at which the data transfer takes place depends on the speed of the modem and the speed capabilities of the telephone lines and they have to be matched. If a telephone line supports only 56 kbps, a modem with a 128 kbps potential can transmit only at the speed of 56 kbps. Communication programs can also handle the operations needed to retrieve a phone number from an online directory, dial a number, log on to a distant system, seek information, copy the location information on a disk or print it on a printer and sign off the system. The simplest example of this is seen in accessing the internet and www. In addition to the communications program, you would need a software that can help you compose the messages, store, 
and deliver them with the help of the data communications program. This is where an electronic mail messaging system or EMMS is useful since it can perform a number of functions. Message distribution. The EMMS has one main mail server that other computers can link up to. The distribution system that manages the traffic of receiving and sending messages, voice or textual, along the network and posting them into the relevant mailboxes. The messages can be read or heard by the recipient from any place by dialing into the server with the proper access authorization. This reduces the chances of missed messages or interrupted messages. Transmission of documents. EMMS also allows for facsimile operations, generally called fax, where the sender of fax machine scans a printed document and transmits it over the communication line to a receiver fax machine that prints the scanned data on the same format on fax paper. Some communicating word processing machines and intelligent copying machines are also able to send printed documents electronically. You can write your whole thesis and send it to your professor's mailbox via the EMMS service. DBS DBS or Bulletin Board System is a kind of EMMS service that provides a common platform for users to post messages, exchange ideas or participate in group discussions online or offline. Unlike the EMMS, a BBS is not for private use and is designed to serve a larger community of users with like interests who can access the common bulletin board. BBSs are usually run by individuals as a hobby and are relatively on a smaller scale. Teleconferencing Teleconferencing is an EMMS that allows users across different locations to have a group discussion. Many users can type in text or talk at the same time. The discussion can be stored and it can take place online or offline. Nowadays, teleconferencing is complemented with video cameras and microphones and is called video conferencing. Here, the participants can actually see or hear each other as they communicate with voice and text-based messages. The world of software, as you can see, is becoming increasingly specialized. So far, we have seen in detail the functions and structure of single-function pre-written packages that handle text. This section deals with pre-written packages that allow data analysis for effective decision making. The task of data analysis brings clarity to a mass of related facts by studying the constituent parts as entities and understanding their relationship to the whole. Data analysis allows one to manipulate the data to see its effects and perform what-if analysis to view the implications of increase or decrease in values. There are basically three types of pre-written data analysis software tools. Spreadsheets, graphic tools and other analytical tools. You may have heard of the good old columnar worksheets that accountants use for numerical data calculations. Software packages develop these primitive worksheets into electronic spreadsheets comprising of a grid of rows and columns. The package allows users to key in data into these rows and columns as well as set relationships between them based on some formulae. Hence, numerical calculations and data analysis operations were possible through these packages. The first computer spreadsheet package was VisiCalc, a program developed by Dan Bricklin. Today, dozens of spreadsheet packages are available for the users. Some of the popular ones being MS Excel, Lotus 123, Multiplan, and SuperCalc. A spreadsheet program typically displays a screen that is divided into a grid of blank rows and columns, which is the workspace, for example, MS Excel. Although the actual size of the grid boxes runs into hundreds, the size of the display screen allows for only a few rows and columns to be seen at a given time. The intersection of any row and column is a cell, identified by the unique address of the column and row number. For example, this cell's address would be C2. While most spreadsheet packages identify rows as numbers and columns as alphabetic letters, 
there may be variations to these. The column name after the letter Z starts with a double series of AA, AB, AC and so on. The user can key in an entry into a cell only if it is selected. The cell pointer, a bold rectangular outline, is the indicator of which cell is the currently selected cell. The spreadsheet program allows the user to decide whether the data to be entered into a cell would be a label, textual entry such as proposed price, a value, numeric data such as the number 40.00, or a formula such as C1 times E1 to multiply the contents of a cell C1 by the value in E1. A selected cell's address is visible at the top left corner of the workspace along with an edit area or a scratch area for the user to redefine an entry. Here we have completed the sample spreadsheet and have set some values for a start. The main reason as to why a spreadsheet is a very powerful decision support tool is that decision makers can ask what if questions, insert changed values in spreadsheet software like Lotus. The change is reflected across all the cells that have a relationship with the cell that contains the changed value. One can also set logical formulae in a spreadsheet. For example, we can enter the following formula into cell G15. If C15 is greater than E15, comma, within quotes, expensive, comma, within quotes, will do. Here, the value of the entry in C15 will be compared with the value in E15 and either of the two actions will be performed. If the value in C15 is higher than the value in E15, G15 will contain expensive. If the value in C15 is equal to or lesser than the value in E15, G15 will contain will do. Spreadsheets can involve a number of formulae. An incorrect formula in a single cell can result in errors that spread throughout the spreadsheet. Numerical errors, particularly in the financial aspect, can lead to heavy losses and incorrect decisions. Most spreadsheet packages allow users to detect errors by different methods. One approach is to calculate important spreadsheet values and then cross-check the results to detect any discrepancy. Designers of large spreadsheets can face difficulty in locating all the errors in their models. For this purpose, several developers have created software products that perform a thorough cell-by-cell -cell trace of their logic and flag any unusual conditions that they may find, which may indicate the source of error. Apart from the features discussed here, spreadsheet packages have additional features that complement their functions. There are several built-in functions in a spreadsheet package, such as the sum function, which is used to total the values in all the cells that fall in a specific range. Many users find it very tedious to key in all the labels or prepare all the formulas needed to create their spreadsheet models. In fact, they prefer to buy pre-tested commercial packages that are designed to help them analyze problems in a predefined area called templates. These are pre-designed blank spreadsheets that contain all the labels and formulas needed to produce a specific type of model. With suitable spreadsheet templates, users merely enter the data and study the desired output. Other than spreadsheet packages, graphic packages are also used to analyze data. One must understand that these packages are not designed only for use in data analysis scenarios. These are software products that are part of DTP offices or artist studios and other creative application areas but have found reasonable additional use in the field of analyzing numeric data. Graphics package may be classified into design, paint, analysis and presentation categories. Design packages are software tools that dramatically improve the productivity of design and drafting efforts. They help to create, edit, store and make storable prints of data in the form of pictures rather than text. An important and popular application of drawing packages is seen in the field of computer-aided design or CAD. CAD systems 
integrate computers and graphics design packages for the purpose of automating design and drafting processes. These are used for the design of machine parts, architectural constructions, product designs, and analysis of load stress. The most commonly used CAD package is AutoCAD developed by Autodesk. Some drawing packages are used mainly in the area of painting and fine art. Hobbyists and others with artistic capabilities or interests can use paint packages to create fresh drawings or modify pictures taken from a picture gallery. They have many tools for drawing styles and strokes, color effects and hues, two-dimensional or three-dimensional effects, etc. These are available in plenty and range from simple drawing software like MS Paint, Paint Shop, to sophisticated drawing tools such as Corel Draw, Photo Paint, 3D Studio, etc. In the realm of data analysis, these packages convert the numeric data into meaningful and effective graphic images that people can relate to and understand better than raw text. An analysis package basically summarizes volumes of numeric data in picture form, thereby enabling an analyst or decision maker to grasp relationships, spot patterns and make more informed decisions. Bar charts, pie charts, line charts or a combination of these formats are more effective and useful to understand relationships, track changes and trends that are buried in their data. A presentation package can complement an analysis package to effectively communicate messages to the audience. The presentation package has all the features of an analysis package and additionally uses graphical interpretations and clip art pictures. It can produce multiple three-dimensional images and allows the user to dress up the images, graphs and charts in many ways. The presentation package can create self-running or manually controlled slideshow presentations complete with transition and sound effects. The most commonly used one today is the MS PowerPoint software package. Since different computers have different graphic capabilities, it is necessary to match the graphics package with the computer system in terms of sufficient storage, adequate processor performance, appropriate display screen, and appropriate graphics input and output devices. In addition to spreadsheets and graphics packages, the software field has developed many specialized data analysis software tools. These are used in highly specific areas such as investment analysis, accounting, statistical analysis, and mindware analysis. Investment analysis packages help individuals and firms in analyzing investment opportunities select and buy securities or sell and buy stocks and bonds at the best time and rate, manage the assets and portfolio, and perform personal financial management functions. Accounting packages are designed to handle all the accounting and financial information needs of individuals and firms. They are able to record order entry, shipping, billing, account receivable, inventory control, sales analysis, and payroll computations. Some of these are integrated packages that share data across the varied financial flows and have effective error trapping components. Statistical analysis packages are designed to gather, classify, analyze and communicate numeric data in terms of statistical formulae. These can be based on formulae such as average, standard deviation, percentiles, etc. Some of these packages are able to accept data from other files, sort, merge and manipulate them, select data samples and perform analysis on single and multiple sets of data. And finally, give the result in charts, graphs or simple summarized text. Mindware packages bear the controversial psychological aspects and hence are not very much in use. They are designed to help users record key responses from opponents in the course of a discussion or meeting. These are then subjected to a number of questions and then the results are analyzed to provide a clear picture of the negotiating situation. Whatever be the data analysis tool, it is we humans who must realize the importance of capturing the relevant data, arranging it properly, extracting the necessary elements and then analyzing the results for effective decision making.
Perhaps the largest focus of all pre-written packages is in the realm of information storage and retrieval. While any package can save and retrieve a file, there are some packages that are designed specifically to capture and maintain volumes of data in an organized and accessible form. Among the commonly used information storage and retrieval software are database management systems, project planning software, and memory resident software. You may recall from earlier references that data is stored in a database. Individual entries within the database are stored as records within the database and each record is made up of related fields. Originally, firms had small computers in each department, trapping data and running their own database software. Each had their own master file with records arranged according to an index key, their own input data structures, processing programs and output designs. Unfortunately, since there are interrelationships within departments of an organization, data ended up being duplicated and the current status did not match within the separate computer systems. The development of database management systems solved the following problems. Data redundancy. The same basic data did not have to be duplicated across individual computers. File updation inadequacies. In the event of changes, the change could be reflected across the whole system and the most updated version available at all times. Lack of data independence. Data elements or fields could have a standard format rather than having different formats and existing in many different locations. Database management packages were created for large mainframes and mini computers to handle voluminous data loads in large organizations. Today, they are available for machines of all sizes and records in a database file are usually stored in a direct access storage device. Database packages come in varying degrees of complexity. The two kinds of DBMS in use today are mainframe packages and PC packages. Some expensive and complex mainframe packages need database administrators to develop and maintain the multitudes of database applications developed around the database. On the other hand, a personal computer package may cost less and be used by an individual for simple and standard query purposes. A database management system allows one to search and query database contents for answers to offhand and unplanned questions which otherwise do not appear in regular reports. Database management systems allow users to The file manager helps one to create a file by prompting the user for a file name and its structure in terms of the individual fields that will go into making the whole record. Here, one must specify the name of the field, its type, nature of data to be captured, numeric, alphanumeric or textual, and its size, that is, the number of characters to be allocated for the data. The file manager also guides one in entering records by accepting data items into each field in the defined sequence. This is done on a first keyed, first stored sequence and each record has a unique record number. One can additionally manipulate and sort the database on one field allocated as the key field. Example, surname. Database systems typically handle sorting in two ways. Actual sorting in which a completely new database file is recreated based on the sort criteria, this would occupy that much more storage space. Indexing, in which only an index file is created with pointers to the location of records in the original file. This gives the feel for newly arranged database file without having to recreate it. One can perform all file maintenance operations which include add new records, modify existing records or delete redundant records on the basis of the record number or the index key field. One can also search for specific records based on a search criteria. Finally, database management systems are effective in generating meaningful reports. Database management packages 
are generally classified into the following categories. A file management package is not really a database management system in the true sense of the word, but for all practical purposes is counted under the category of DBMSs. A file management system can support many separate files, but can only operate on one file at a time in the following terms. A relational database management package is a true DBMS package that can manage data in more than one file at a time. Usually known as RDBMS, these packages treat database files as tables with rows and columns rather than as lists of records. Each table column represents a database field and each row a database record, sometimes called a tuple. The RDBMS can relate the data in one table with the data in another table via a common field. RDBMSs can employ relatively new data storage and retrieval concepts, are more flexible and more powerful than file management programs. Some of the more popular RDBMS available today are Oracle and Sybase. In hierarchical database management systems, the data units are structured in layers, one on top of the other in an inverted cone-like structure. The single root data component is at the tip of the cone, at the top, and has a wider base for the branching subordinate elements below. There is a superior subordinate structure relationship in this structure. The individual elements are not connected, and each has one single superior above it. The network database management system overcomes the limitations of non-connecting branches of a hierarchical system. Network DBMS permit the connection of the nodes in a multi-directional manner. Thus, each node may have several owners and may, in turn, own any number of other data elements. Among all these categories, it's the RDBMS that have become the most popular because they are faster, less expensive, and very flexible in terms of database structures. Another kind of storage and retrieval package is the project management software. A project is usually a one-time operation with a series of tasks that must be completed within a defined time frame. The project leader manages all the separate tasks involved in the project from monitoring to rescheduling to completion. Many project leaders bank on software tools to help them plan, schedule and control human and material resources required to complete the project tasks on time at a reasonable cost. These are the project management software systems that store every detail of the project and help the leaders to retrieve, review and control them from time to time. The PMS helps the user to identify the primary tasks, identify the project steps and build a project schedule. This is done by prompting the user for the PMS then helps monitor the project with critical tools such as one of the most commonly used PMSs is the MS project. Other storage and retrieval packages are the memory resident packages also called desktop organizers or desk accessories. It is loaded into an area of the computer's primary storage area where it resides and waits to be invoked to take over time-consuming tasks. You may be working on a word processing file and need to perform a quick numerical calculation to type in a total figure. Here, the primary package is the word processor, while the memory resident package being invoked would be the calculator. There are dozens of memory resident packages that one can choose from, and they have been classified according to the number of functions they perform. Narrow function packages have limited functions, which may be found as single features in full-fledged primary application programs. For example, an online spelling checker and a thesaurus are often included in the more powerful word processing packages. Another narrow function package is the keyboard enhancer or the macro processor. This program allows a user to enter and store a string of characters and then assign these characters an abbreviation that can be called up with just one or two keystrokes. Some memory resident packages 
combine several limited functions in a single product. These are the multifunction memory packages such as Notepad. Instead of a full scale word processor, this multifunction memory resident package is a scaled down text processor that gives users a notebook capability of jotting down short notes and writing brief letters. Calculator. Instead of a full spreadsheet application, this memory resident package allows the user to display a desk calculator on the screen for arithmetic or scientific calculations. Card filer and auto dialer. Instead of a full fledged database management and data communication software, these memory resident packages allow users to store and retrieve files containing names, addresses, telephone numbers, and other items used for daily access. Appointment calendar and alarm clock. The appointment calendar has two levels, monthly calendar and daily appointment calendar, which can be combined with the functions of another package, the alarm clock. Operating system services. Many multifunction packages allow users to interrupt their primary application to carry out some functions permitted by their PC's operating system. For example, you could be working on a Word file and in the course of saving it, find that the floppy has no more storage space. In this case, you may call upon the operating system to delete files or shift them elsewhere to accommodate the current file.